Hey Bricky Babies and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. Go ahead and hit that red subscribe button. Join the Bricky Baby gang because the Bricky Babies are lit. We have fun. And if you subscribe, you're going to have some fun too. So you guys, I'm super excited to be sharing another video with you all. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing a realistic evening in my life throughout the week, showing you guys how I relax, unwind, do some self-care, and just prepare myself for the next day. So if you're interested and seeing what your girl do throughout the week, then just keep on watching. Okay, you guys, so as you can see, the first thing is that moment. I don't care if you've had a great day at work, nothing beats getting off. So y'all, as soon as I get off work, this is every day. Sometimes I do it before I get off, but I just have to make my home super, super cozy. So I will go around and just light the candles. Like for me, it's a mental thing. Like if my place is clean, my candles are going, it smells good, it relaxes me. And I do work from home and I'm on the phone a lot throughout the day. So I can just become very like drained and just feeling exhausted. And sometimes I do have to work on like YouTube stuff after work. So I just need my environment to be like A1 like <laughs> I have to you guys so I'll you know light my candles and then like I mentioned before some days I have to edit this day in particular I was not going to touch iMovie on my laptop at all I wasn't editing anything I decided to catch up on some vlogs I'll scroll on my Instagram sometimes I'll shop I usually like sit here for about maybe 45 minutes because I don't want to start cooking dinner too late because I don't want to eat super, super late and have to go to bed with that food on my stomach. Try to eat dinner in our household no later than, you know, 8.30 girl and that's pushing it. But yeah, I'm just gonna sit here for a little bit and chill. Sometimes I'm on the phone, I'm watching. I went from YouTube to shopping and now I'm on the phone. And like I said, sometimes I will edit, but I didn't this day. Sometimes, girl, I will even take a nap. And I know that it's crazy. You probably thinking, Brooke, you gonna take a nap at 5.30, girl? Yes, I will. But like I mentioned, I'll sit there for a little bit and then eventually I'll get up, go in the kitchen, start cooking dinner. Sometimes I will meal prep, but I've stopped meal prepping throughout the whole week. It's just, it doesn't work for us anymore. We're over it by Tuesday or Wednesday. So this night in particular, I didn't meal prep anything. I decided to cook us some spaghetti, something quick and easy. And that's another thing that I have found that works for me. If I have a busy day or it's a day where I'm just tired and I want to unwind, relax, and not do a whole lot, I go for meals that are quick, girl. So that's just a little tip. And it's just perfect because the day I recorded this video, I was super tired. I didn't want to do anything, but I pushed through because I'm always get that content for my brookie babies. And it was like, raining outside it was cold it was like dark and cozy in the house i don't know if y'all can tell but it was just perfect so yeah i just cooked dinner for a little bit and then you know gotta have a little wine we gotta unwind you can't unwind and not have some wine i mean i'm just kidding girl if you're watching them calories don't drink this wine don't listen to me but <laughs> i always grab me some wine majority of the time when i'm cooking and then again like i told y'all i am on youtube i watch youtube more than i watch tv so i will prop the girls up i'll watch them and cook chill and do whatever else Now y'all, your girl is always trying to multitask and just, you know, make things easier for me. So whenever I'm cooking, depending on what I'm cooking, I always do little things around the house to prepare myself for the next day or get the house ready for us to go to bed. So on this day in particular, you know, I'm just walking around closing all of the blinds that I had open that day. But some days, you know, I may have some clothes I need to fold. I may have a room that I need to clean or I may need to take care of this or that. So that's just a little tip. Y'all know I'm always trying to give y'all some tips, but I just don't want y'all to come here and just watch what I'm doing. I always want to be helpful and it's never wrong to have effective methods that makes our life easier okay am i right or am i right tell me i'm right because i hope i ain't wrong <laughs> all right you 
guys so now it's probably like 7 30 ish and i'm getting ready to eat dinner with my husband please y'all tell me that i am not the only one that loves corn and spaghetti i don't know what it is about it but i love it and i have to have it all mixed together it's just so good for the ones that get it y'all get it and the ones that don't i'm sorry baby you don't but just give it one more try i promise you it is so good but yeah we just take this moment to chit chat talk reflect back on our day and then after i eat i immediately go into cleaning up the kitchen i'm one of those i can't go to bed with the kitchen dirty it just it's just not gonna do it for me when i get up in the morning and see all those dishes i'm gonna be so mad at myself all right y'all so now i'm going to head upstairs and go ahead and begin my self-care or just my regular night routine as far as getting myself truly, truly ready for bed. I like to go ahead and turn the lamps on in the room, get this really cozy. I am gonna go back downstairs, but I just like to have it ready for when I do come back upstairs. But y'all, this is that moment and I kinda want to encourage you all to do whatever it is in this moment that makes you happy. Like self-care is not just about the products and what are you using on your skin and what are you using on your hair and what vitamins are you taking? What are you doing to make yourself happy and feel full again inside? For me, it's dancing. Like when I'm getting dressed and getting undressed, I like to dance. And at the same time, my mind may be going and I may be thinking about other things, but I'm like, what can I do in this moment of me taking care of myself that will also bring me joy and I can have fun with it. For one, it's vlogging and recording and giving you guys content. Another is dancing, like I'm super goofy in real life. If you know me in real life, I like to have a good time. But I like to dance, I like to have music on. Like, it just, I don't know, this truly relaxes me. Even though I'm like, I'm moving around, my heart rate is probably up. Hopefully I'm burning a calorie or two because I told y'all I like to eat. But still, like, I just like to have a good time. And you can do that literally at home taking a shower. So I encourage you during this time, don't think that self-care is just about the products. Yes, the products are a part of self-care, but in my opinion, there are other ways of taking care of yourself. And if dancing is not your thing, you don't wanna have music on, not the type of music that makes you like dance. If you need something on that relaxes you, Girl, put you on like some meditation sounds, use your humidifier or diffuser and just relax. Take this moment to breathe, to decompress and to truly get yourself ready for the next day, okay? Breathe, one, two, three, blow it out. Or, or be like Brooke Kennedy, bouncing around in the bathroom before she go to bed. <laughs> and you guys not every night i do a mask but honestly you know i had a busy weekend before and i was like you know this is a perfect time for the mask to just sit on my face while i lotion my body and just detox my pores so that's another little tip girl if you just feel like i just need to go a little extra step but i don't want to do my full pamper routine just find something that you don't do every night that you can kind of throw in the mix to make yourself feel a little bit better and just feel like you're getting things done when it comes to taking care of yourself try that out for sure because it definitely works now for my OGs, you already know about that toner that I just showed, but if you are new here and you have oily skin, girl, get your hands on that Pharmacy Deep Sweep Toner. I promise you it's amazing. Also, if you have like oily and acne prone skin, girl, your face will not break out. Trust me, when I use that consistently, I barely get a breakout, probably only around the time of the month. So if you wanna check that out, I will definitely have it linked in the description box below. But 
you know, after I lotion my body, I'm just going to go ahead and finish up my skincare, comb down my hair. I'm not going to tie it up just quite yet. But y'all, I got to do better because I am still one of those that sleep in t-shirts and shorts. I don't know. It's just my thing. It's comfy. Sometimes I'll sleep in like the pajamas and the silk pajamas, but honestly, I get hot and all that stuff. So I'm going to do better in 2023. I'm going to get me some cute pajamas. They got to be like cotton because I can't do the silk and satin stuff like that, but I'm going to do better. All right, y'all. So we are getting closer to the end of the night. I am back downstairs lately, especially with the weather and it being the cold season. I have been making tea every night, just trying to keep my body healthy. I always make sure to take my vitamins in the morning, but at night I get me some tea, usually put some lemon in there with some honey. Honey is good for information. And also just drinking this tea helps relax me and I actually seem to sleep a lot better. So yeah, I'll get back on the couch, drink my tea, scroll on Instagram again, watch some more videos, talk to my husband. We may watch a movie. It just depends. But this night in particular, I think I ended back up on the phone with um, my friend Tiffany and was just relaxing. So now your girl is back upstairs and I am tying up my hair and putting on my bonnet. Okay, the piece of maker is coming out to play, girl. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding, y'all. But yeah, I got to tie up my hair. Got to keep the bundles protected, you know. And, you know, brushing my teeth. Got to keep them pearly whites. Now, y'all, just go ahead and skip through. Because I am not one of them girls that be cute when I brush my teeth. Because I be getting all up and through there. I didn't even show y'all me flossing because, listen, it, uh, it wasn't cute flossing and tongue scraping and all that is just not giving cute maybe one day i'll get to that level but i don't be trying to be cute i'll be trying to make sure i'm getting in there and taking care of my teeth so yeah but yeah that's the last little step as far as like self-care portion um for the night and now your girl is about to get in this bed taking these pillows off gonna get under these sheets rub these feet together girl this is like my favorite moment of the day especially after a productive day who can relate if you have had a long day you have work you have cooked you have clean if you have your side business and you've worked on that if you're an entrepreneur you know the feeling of getting in the bed after a long day it is amazing but at this point, you all, it is the end of the night. I'm going to finish up watching one of my favorite shows and go to bed. So I really hope you all enjoyed today's video. If you did, please make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that red subscribe button. Join the Brookie Baby gang because the Brookie Babies are lit. We have fun. And if you subscribe, you're going to have some fun too. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you in my next one, Brookie Baby.